worked out for him. Two laps to go. How big are these two laps going to be? Geiser can hear the circuit announcer underneath that helmet of his. He holds a nice tight line. Cairoli there, then Hurlings. Meanwhile, Fevre just over two and a half seconds clear of these three warring warriors. You cannot take your eyes off of this, can you? Oh, was on the uh, tight side there, wasn't he? He decided to swing around the outside. All of a sudden, we've got a Hardy Ruziorg, number 75, saying, just do, just go around me. I don't care. And Hurlings has found his way past Kai Rowley. A nice, sweet move around the outside into third place. And he's going after Geiser for second. The place has just lit up. Geiser behind back markers. He's stuck. He can't find a way through. Can't go left. Can't go right. Oh! I thought he was going to land on Brilikov. Or at Miro Sivanen. Cuts to the inside. Hurlings. He finds his way alongside Geiser. You would think by now that with Fevre going through, again, handlebar band there, you would expect him just to find his way somewhere just to avoid this kind of conflict. The rider in blue. Fevre out of sight. Geiser has to up his game to keep Hurlings behind him said don't worry about the championship positions at the moment didn't we about 20 minutes ago we're still not worried about them we'll just worry about this at the end of the race final lap a showdown between Geiser and Hurlings and maybe Fevre just ahead of them who looks like he's got this one under control at the moment though will he go outside or inside well he just follows him in has nice drive through there he's got a nice line there hasn't he what a Herculean effort this has been for number 84. These three riders at the top of the championship, right at the very top of their game. They all know you cannot afford a mistake, not with three races left to go in the season. One more today. Oh! The, how did he stay up? He chucked it in the rut, his leg fell off. He was just legging his way around there. Cuts back to the inside. He finds his way. Oh, simultaneous scrubs, closes down the door. He is under pressure, he's under ropes. He goes around the outside, Hurlings is in second. Geister tries to get back, he can't. Wow, what an atmosphere. What a ride. And Fevre is just there ahead of him. Cairoli, is he going to find his way up the inside of Geiser? Geiser cannot afford a loss of position. He's got pending penalties on his name on the timing screen. Cairoli looks to try to cut to the inside. Well, we, we don't know which way to look. Fevre is just going to hang on, I think. Cairoli there in fourth. I don't think there's time for him to find his way past Geiser, not with two corners to go. He tries to cut to the inside. That's it. That's game over. Fevre into the final corner. Fevre's going to hang on. He is going to win race one. What a big win for him. What a big ride for Hurlings. And what a race once again. Yes, you may applaud. Once again, we have been spoiled. I said it last week, a season that keeps on giving. Watch this here. This was from fourth to third for Jeffrey Hurlings. Cairoli got caught behind Hardy, Hardy Ruziorg. Hurlings got around the outside, got on the gas, made that pass, and then this was on Geiser. He had to... Phew, this was the mistake. Got alongside, he then switched back because he got the door closed in his face. He went around the outside. Had to carry that momentum. Anyway, that was for second. Fevre won it.
Erling second, guys, the third, Cairoli Fernandez.